Right, welcome to another lesson. Today is our first lesson on factorising. In mathematics, we know expand means to multiply the term out the front of the brackets by everything inside the brackets. For example, we've just learned how to take 2 bracket x plus y and expand that to give 2x plus 2y. Well, factorise means to put the expression back into brackets. It's the opposite process of expanding. And again, it would be useful to think of it like words. We're taking one word and translating it into another word or language, and when we factorise it, we translate it back into the language we started with. Right, here's our first example. Example 1, factorise 3a plus 3b. They both have 3 as common factors, so we're going to take 3 out the front of the brackets. The first part of the expression is 3a, so we're going to think of 3 multiplied by something has to give us 3a. Well, it has to be an a. We see a plus sign, so we put down a plus. And the second part of the expression is 3b, so once again we say 3 times or multiplied by something gives 3b, it has to be a b. So our final expression is 3 bracket a plus b. Example 2, factorise 4x plus 12. Well we know 12 can be made up of 4 times 3. So both parts of this expression have a common factor of 4. So we're going to take 4 out the front of the brackets. So the first part of the expression is 4x. So 4 times something, 4 multiplied by something gives 4x. Well, it must be an x. We see a plus sign, so we write down a plus. And then the second part of the expression is 12. So 4 multiplied by something gives 12. Well, it must be a 3. So our final expression is 4 bracket x plus 3. Right, our third and last example. Factorise 6p subtract 30. Once again, 30 can be made up of 6 times 5. So we know that they both have a common factor of 6. So we're going to take 6 out the front of the brackets. The first part of the expression is 6p, so 6 times something makes 6p. Well, it must be just p. We see a subtract, so we write down a subtract. And the second part of the expression is 30, so 6 multiplied by something is 30. 6 times what is 30? Well, it must be 5. 6 times 5 is 30, so our final expression is 6 bracket p subtract 5. Right, thank you for watching.